We are back. The Breakdown Boys, Wade Sensei. Oos. There he is. Uh, sensei. We have... Oh, slashing. We have been... First off, okay, buddy. Okay, you had to turn the label and everything? This is crazy. Um, <laughs> right, That's the new one. flavor, though, too, huh? Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, oh, hey, yo. Watch out. Getting crazy with it. Is That's it lemonade. I don't know if it's new. Is it's it the lemonade? lemonade? I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Wait, don't keep up. I got other things he to worry about. Needs an update. Actually, bars. I need an update. Bars. Uh, no, bro. Listen, we we we'll get you some at some point. Sold out right now. Can't help it. Going off the shelves. You got me um, pumping yesterday. Now I'm back to. Hey, oh, <sighs> give me that. You be liking what I like. Give me that. I know you like it. How I need it. I like. You got me. <laughs> All right, back to the video. <laughs> we watched Drake videos for like two hours last night. Anyway, yeah, hurt yourself. Dean versus Walid happened. The rematch happened to be the most exciting fight on the Prime card. And yeah, we've talked about pretty much every other big fight so far. Um, We have to talk about this one. This one is a career-defining moment for Dean. And I think... Even for Walid right now, he's so young that he's going to come back from it. He'll be fine. But it's a moment that I think is going to change him for the better as well. Uh, we talked about in the Salt Poppy versus Slim fight, learning things and uh, how a fight like that can change you for the better if you, again, change some of the, the patterns, right? We, we saw a lot of patterns there. For this fight, yep. we saw some patterns in the first fight that we thought would go different, and it was almost completely different it was almost a flip of what happened in the first fight dude i want thoughts here growth before we go into it and development growth and development yeah i think dean we know both of these guys are hard workers oh yeah you know dedicated to the game but i think maybe dean you know maybe underestimated while he thought he'd be like a walk in the park mm. and that made him you know rise to new levels mm. you know maybe in training camp but to develop humble him a little bit okay i gotta really get better i can't just be messing around here anymore and it takes you know, a lot, man. Um, it takes a lot for, for a guy to, as he won the fight, yeah. come back and know that this is going to be his toughest test, or you would think so, and to change gyms, to go through the shoulder injury, whatever it was before the fight, to be locked in, ready to go for this one, and be holding that belt still for the rematch. They both, By the way, let's not forget, they both had to keep winning to get to this point. You know what I'm saying? These are the two top dogs, but proved by winning. So we get into this fight and say, what were you anticipating happening here? Uh, sim maybe similar to last time. I thought Walid, you know, I expected him to obviously train harder. He would be extra motivated, same thing. Yeah. Which he did, be, by the uh, way. He looked like he was in crazy shape. And usually rematches, I feel like, don't end in, like, finishes. It's like guys that do, like... They think they got the guy figured out, but they can never figure out the other guy. Then it ends up being like another decision. Yep. Um, so I thought it would just be like a very competitive match and they wouldn't be able to figure each other out and it would be a decision. You know, that's right. what I, I just, that's what I thought. And then freaking two seconds in fireworks while lead said, while lead said, hold this. Ah, you know, and he came and back with a dat. So with much, dish. like so many stories in this fight, like so much adversity, I should say. And that's what we love about a fight, bro. Yes. And you see immediately, a couple seconds into the fight, adversity. Yes, bro. You got to come and then again, ready. Flip, flop, flip, flop. Yeah. Back and forth. Okay. Hey, oh, wait. Back and forth, but you saw a, a clear separation in this fight. And this time it was, it was from our guy, Dean the Great. He stepped up and was great in a very tough moment, in a moment in front of more people than he'd ever fought in front of, and against a guy that gave him a lot of trouble in the first fight. Let's take a look. Christian, you already know what to do with the volume, my G. So here's round one, punch one. You! Boom. First combination in the left hook Beautiful. lands. And Dean immediately got to answer that call. Be like, okay, here we go. And Dean, uber confident right away. Uber Sorry, confident with the ah. tongue. Uber confident. Ah. Because it, to him, this is like, oh, pfft. I'm going to just pick up where I left off last time before I got hit with one. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Was not that kind of fight at all. Because right back, here comes the champ, dude. You seeing those jabs come down? Starting to find that right hand. 
Beautiful. Buddy. See a little stutter step, bro? Yes, timing. I love that, bro. Boom. It's a non-telegraphic uh, push of the feet. It's a non-telegraphic uh, little skip. It's a little skip. Little skip a little to little my Lou action, bro. Ta -da. Lead right hand. Beautiful. And we saw that a lot in the first fight, right? We saw Dean land a lot of lead right hands, but... He's got a great lead right hand. It's just his so timing is, is so good slides, with it. Slides. Slides right into range. And you saw... And, and honestly, it looked like... Dean was just getting a lot of the reactions he wanted out of Waleed. Waleed was looking to kill with shots. Kill. Yeah, look at that one. That Right? He's, but Dean's, Dean's rolling, rolling with that, bit. luckily. But still... A little bit. You're seeing him kill, like, while he wants to kill with every shot, right? Boom. You hear, ugh. He's wanting just every bit of that to land. You but, hear what? Ugh. Eh, ah. Oh, okay. okay. I wasn't. No, okay. Don't ever in your life. Okay, it's just shaking. Okay. It's later night. Um, <laughs> again, a jab to the body. You're seeing Dean stay switched on. And this was the big issue with Waleed. While he's Philly shelling here and he's wanting to catch that backhand, a lot of the reason that he gets caught with punches here is because his his lead hand isn't there. And whether it's right. off the jab and it's a little long or it's just a little bit late reaction with the shoulder to get up across the chin, Dean continually finds it and well, he doesn't adjust. Yeah. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it for Dean. He starts throwing some weight behind these, man. And you see that even just off the step in. He yelled to pick your hand up. Somebody yelled. Oy. Oh. And that's the same Talk about punch, this. but fighting backwards. backwards. Talk about fighting backwards. Wally level changes, tries to come in with a hook, and, and Dean slides back, but maintains his balance. Doesn't just lean back. And ready to fire. Feet. Doom. Look, he's square right there. Crazy. He squares up. Boom. And you know what's crazy about it is that Beautiful shot. This right here, I said this to Dean too. I was like, your eyes in this fight were immaculate. And I ain't talking about staring into him, get, catching feels. I'm talking about hey, yo. catching hands because he is locked on a target, son. His Gosh. eyes never leave. Even when this attack comes, we never leave. We never leave. We're here. We're here. Bang. That's not head turning wow. away. That's not covering up and rolling. That's eyes on the target in the fire and being composed enough because guess what? He's seen that left hand from Waleed before. He's seen that jump in level change left hook because it's put him down twice. He knows what's coming. He did his homework. And again, we talked about adjustments in this fight being majorly important. Dean made adjustments. Yeah. Waleed fought the same way he fought in the first fight, at least for the most part, coming forward, looking to take, you know, big shots. Lead hand, level change, a lot of the success he had there, Dean adjusted to it. And he's talking to him. That's an incredible shot. Yeah, fantastic. And he lands multiple with that same timing. Does there anybody in influencer boxing, and, and I shouldn't even disrespect Dean by even saying influencer boxing, but with that kind of timing? No. I was just thinking, I'm like, this is why, you know, with influencer boxing... It's like sometimes we get fights like this and we expect fights to be like this, but... It's tough because these are <laughs> rare. Tough, these are jewels right. that we get. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Dean, like I said, I don't know that there's anybody that has that timing. Front foot or back. No, no. You know what I'm saying? He does it multiple times, not just like one time. I know. Over you know, and over. I'm going to try to be cheeky right now. He, he get... almost puts him down with it right there. Goes to the body with that one. Look at that, falling into the lead hand. Oh, he tags him again, but he falls into this lead hand, which I like. He's like, all right, my right hand, but I'm not going to stop here. You're going to hold that one for your troubles. Cool. So one shot into the other. And then, boom, again, you look at Waleed's lead hand, though, and he as, he wants, to, case. He, as he wants to kind of throw out and frame out, dome, and Dean... Kind of, and I love that. He looks like he wants to roll under the right hand, but sees it landed heavy. He's like, nah, we stay in here. We back. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm just going to roll under this one. Never mind. We still here. <laughs> Let me throw that Ooh, again. Man. One, two. Oy. Slip right into range. What are we He's saying, dude? Slides and then the slip inside. Bang. bang. <laughs> bro, stop stop it. <laughs> just stop it. I was, man this was, was locked it's, in, bro. Man was it's locked 10 p.m. at night, and your boy, we got on camera, and I was like, bro, let me just get this video done. And then I remembered that this fight made me come out of my seat, dog. What? Run it back. 
Right hand, roll, jab, right hand over, hold one. So, and again, we're not being disrespectful to Walid here. It's just exciting to see. Nah, this, this is just, yeah, it's awesome to see the his, inside slip. Boom to the body. What? Oh, overhand. Good stuff, dude. Combinations. And Walid's obviously a bit hurt here, but oh, right hand through. Oh, another right hand. And he's throwing. And this is where both of them get into trouble because they just, yeah. it's Wally's it's go time. Gangsta. Wally's taking some punches right here. Bro. Dude, you know he's fighting again in less than a month? Waleed? I'm pretty sure someone pulled up his box rec and he has something scheduled for November 11th. How is that? He didn't get knocked out, but how is that allowed? That's weird. Commission issue? You're out of the country? I don't know. Oh, it wasn't a TKO, right? Was it a... He got his decision, no. but I'm saying, I don't know if it was decision. like, okay. what can they really do to him while he's here? You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. But still, he is a gangster for, for standing in there and taking some of these, man. Uh, level change. Pull right hand again. It's just, you see the variety in the shot selection. It's not the same thing. Oh, man. That was a big shot, man. Oh, look and he turns ball. it over. Oh. Yeah, well, he got... <laughs> oh, that face is a rough one, man. But it's like, instead of just I would have been knocked out already, bro. 100%. I would have been dead. I'm not taking one of those, though. What are you talking about? I take one of those, and it's like, I'm tapping out. I'm tapping to strikes. I'm like this. It's like this. You're tapping the air. Okay. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Facts. But the shot that... <laughs> Wait a second. That probably just looked crazy. Dude, you look like Bobby Boucher's dad. That's what you look like. <laughs> Bobby Boucher. <laughs> Bobby, it's me, Bobby. He's all, it's me. Don't you remember? <laughs> You don't know what I'm talking about? Hold on. I do, bro. I have to show the people now because they're going to go, dude, what are you saying? <laughs> this is you, dog. That, that was you right then. <laughs> Bobby, don't mess with no money. Go to the NFL, Bobby. Okay, I'm done. Anyway. What we're so saying would have had you like Bobby Boucher Sr. Yeah, on the dude. Pops, canvas, Pops Boucher. But what I was trying to say there was Dean goes from the right straight, right? The cross, and he throws this a little bit around the guard, a little bit of an overhand, like a short hook. Sits down on it. You see the difference in the right hand now. So it's not just yep. on the chin. He's throwing that around to. He slipped outside there. Yep. And then came Same back thing, in. Bro, he slipped head. outside the jab and then slipped Ish. inside the cross. That is That's like you nasty. do that in training. Like we're talking like you feel super like saying you do practicing, that. Practicing like one, two, you know, right? Like in some like one more time cardio kickboxing stuff. This man, how you do it with the voice though? One, two. There we go. Okay, three, four. Yep. All right, guys, here we go. But that's Next outside exactly. and in, buddy. And I'm and I'm trying to figure out where. Because let's not forget, Dean hurts himself in this fight multiple Dude, times. Jabs the body. Sticking it to the body. There's Mams Taylor on commentary. Dude, just right hand <laughs> after right saying? hand. <laughs> hey, man, listen. He tried. He tried. I just It's, it's a that. shocking voice, you know? It's shocking to hear yeah. on commentary. <laughs> It's shocking, but I thought he—I thought they did okay. I thought they did well. Here's my thing. Okay, you want to do it? You want to go there? Here's my thing. <laughs> I did it. You You're the one who said it. Like, there's Mams Taylor. No, on I heard. It's not even Mams that I'm going to talk about. <laughs> when they have Grisham, who is Todd Grisham's the man, pots and pans. Yep. When they have him on commentary, and then they also have Jonathan Coachman, it's like having two Todd Grishams while only needing one and they're both trying to be Todd Grisham. It's so weird to me. Yeah, it's not it doesn't um, it's not cohesive. It's not because Todd's the play-by-play. -play. Coach is supposed to be the color is supposed to be I don't know what he's the analyst, I'm not sure what he's supposed to be. Because he's not doing either of those. He's just doing what Todd's doing but just saying different things. Right. So it's like I don't but I thought Mams being there at least gave something. Like he's like, "Oh, well, lead has to take advantage of it." Yeah. For sure, that's okay. But then you got Todd and Coach calling out the punches and the rounds, and I'm like, you know what I'm saying? It's not very cyclical. Not very cyclical. The breakdown boys, I'm just saying, we could have been there with, the, you know what I'm saying? Bro, stop it. We know. We, we, we know. They, the people know. They people know. They know what it is. 
Half what do you the got? Body. Look at that variety. Oy. Oh, stop it. Eey. And then goes AI Jesus. on him, son. Don't show the people that. What are you doing? Don't show the people whatever you got on the breakdown hoodie and, and disgracing our hoodie with. What, what is that? Banana peel? I don't know, dude. Oh, my God. This man. But look at this yes. shot, bro. Jab of the body. So not head hunting. And again, outside of the jab. Rolls with the right oh hand. My God. Even though, to be fair, Waleed catches him a little bit. He rolls with that. That's a Doom. pull. Son. This man pulled his lead leg back. Turn. Clean with it. We leaning on him. Lean Clean with, with it. it. Rock with hey. it. Hey. Lean with it. Rock hey. with it. Bang. And this is, you know. I'm, I'm practicing this. I'm, for I'm for our in the dojo. For our level. I'm practicing this on like a 12-year-old tomorrow. I'm like, yo, come over here, little kid. Okay. <laughs> Deck twelve year olds. Yeah. Here first. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is <laughs> this is some like again for our level, Canelo level ish for us. Right? Because Canelo yes, be doing this to guys. For influencer Bro, let's, let's, style. Let's, let's, let's make sure let's 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 let's, let's give people the depth, the in depth breakdown right here. Slide back real quick. Yep. When you're talking about skill level, why is like Dean's skill better? It's not just punching technique. So watch, he slides out of the way as he's sliding. Right, his left foot sliding back. Right now, he recognizes the right hand, so he shoots his left leg back. And also, just in a and split second, look at these. This is two frames of a YouTube video. Sees the right hand, immediately turns. That's reaction time, buddy. And his left foot's back, so he can plant and then open up that left hip and rotate into that right hand. Son. Waleed does not expect a shot at all. He thinks I'm a falling behind He's this still right falling. hand. He's still falling into oh. it. You see Dean's eyes are locked. Locked, oh. bud. Big time shot there. Stands over him, gets him with the AI, then wipes the feet on him. Oh, jeez! And while he gets to his feet at six, that's crazy. That is crazy. Stuff that you don't see from influencer boxing. So people like influencer boxing, they're, they're you know they don't know what they're stop, doing. Stop. Stop. We got some guys who know what they're doing. Got some hitters, bro. And again, Waleed. Probably a little rocked here. Takes a big uppercut. Dean but goes look at the, the shot body. selection, right? Not just head hunting. Nah, dude. Like very selective. Boom! Huge uppercut. Right? Have you seen, has he thrown it. an uppercut yet like that? Not like that, dude. Right. So now, Boom. okay. Let me just throw a double jab uppercut. Let me slide angle change, then work the body again instead of just Boom. trying to head hunt and just like trying to throw haymakers. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Patience. Level change. Different shot selection. Nasty with it, man. Woo! Two back of the head for no reason, but yo. Sharp. Sharp, sharp, bro. Crazy. Here comes round five. I think they're not going to show it, but there's a point where Dean knocks his mouthpiece out, too, and, and we maybe should go back and watch the full deal. We'll watch the highlight here, too, but this is Waleed making his comeback after Dean now has his broken his hand and also is, has a non-working left shoulder. His left shoulder's hurt, right? Yeah, and he also broke his right hand. Damn, Waleed's landing some shots. Here, yeah, Waleed bro. was coming forward. A dog after all that punishment, man. Bro, the fact that he has been concussed three times and is coming back. And still, he's a right hand right there. A landing. Crazy. Damn. Okay, shoulder roll. With the left shoulder. So in the midst of Dean doing his thing thing, right? Thang, thang. His thang, thang. He... Uh, sorry, I put the, I didn't put the twang on it. You know what I'm saying? So in the midst of him doing that, he dislocates his shoulder. I think is what this is. I had to when my shoulder it. dislocated mid fight. Okay, we're in round three, and here we go. Damn. Okay, right there, Left his shoulder. lead. His oh. lead goes out, son. I'm not sure how he dislocates it. Maybe that's the just jab? force, bro. That's just, just a force from the force. backhand. He just, he just maybe pulled the his jab left and then back. just ripping it back to throw the overhand, and that so thing's out, ready. buddy. We out, and he this says it. Started. And he's like, "All right," and then starts boxing with his lead. Bro, come back. Hold, Hold that. that. Stances on him. Crazy, and again. Let me go southpaw real quick. Uppy and get oh. out of the way. <laughs> it's high. What? Dirty, bro. He says, done. hold this, and then underneath, <laughs> we out the back door, and I'm hooked behind it. I stopped it too quick. Um, oh, my God. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. What? I think it'll be tough for Waleed too. Because, like, okay, I, I hit him or he's hurt, but now he switched stances on me and but now bro, he's giving me a whole different look mid fight. Facts. But, bro, how tough is it to defensively be sound? This is going on. You're in the and midst of the stances. fire and you just switched. How many guys practice that? One, right. there's a there's there's just something intuitive with the way this kid fights, man. It's intuitive yeah. because I don't I guarantee he's not Southpaw and in there in the gym fucking sparring Southpaw. Guarantee it. Right, 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 right. Intuitive, man. On the fly improvisation. There's not many guys that do this. Even at the pro level, there's not many guys that improv. Yeah, no, no, no. That can. That's ability, jab man. Jab to the body right after. That's ability. And going right back to it. Yeah, jab to the body. Stick okay. it. Level change hook again, uh -huh. bro. What are we talking about? <laughs> Stupid. And then we find out that he also does have a break of his right hand. His right hand. Probably because he had to throw somebody so many Hammers, with dude. It. Look, that's probably what happened. Hammers, son. So there's that. And then, of, of course, there's more parts of the fight that we won't get to just because... You know, it, there's a lot to get you there. But long yeah, story bro. short, we had a, a, a classic. I called it an instant classic on Twitter. I think that's what it was. One, because Dean put on a, a all-time performance. Like, that was... All-time. Yep. I mean, dude, you want to talk about five rounds of that? I don't know. Like, the Kenny performance horse, Winderson, was one thing because of how dominant it was. Yeah, but... But this was a different level, man. Because Wally was still there. Wally because still Wally's high the level. Dude. There's a difference when you can like style on somebody who can't really throw back that much. Yeah. But what happened when you're fighting someone who's still dangerous and you saw at the end of the, the fight that Wally was still dangerous. That means you still have to be on your P's and Q's. You still got to be super sharp. So when you're dominating somebody who you shouldn't be dominating really. Yeah. You have to be super sharp and you have to have variety. You got to be still be creative because he, Wally would have caught on if you kept doing the same thing. Facts. Right? So if the seed like... And then, again, has adversity, gets hurt, switches stances, and still has variety defense and offense and still setting traps and doing all that. Great performance, man. Fantastic stuff. Then we get to the end of the fight. Waleed has his moment there in the fifth round, which shows he's a dog. Still only yep, 19. Still got a massive That's future crazy. ahead of him, right? Um, yep. The question becomes, what do you do then We'll start with Waleed because he lost. What do you do with him? Because he's going to go and do his pro career. It looks like he's going to go and fight again, like I said, in November, um, outside of Misfits. And he's already on Twitter today saying, who's next, you know? So he's ready. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's I mean, I guess you you have other guys that you can try to build like Waleed. Waleed was not an influencer. I mean, he kind of is. He does have the. He's a part of the YouTuber thing in in his own space. He was a part of a group, I think, but he wasn't like an own a big name, just influencer by himself. Right, because I feel like because how I, well maybe that is don't know. It's what, what we it know of like him, his, but it's not you know we don't know that his from Adam YouTube though side. when he fought Adam Sala. Right. What was his community then? Again, I think he's a part of a community that includes his sister and you know some other YouTubers as well. I think. But he's not maybe the main thing of that. What we know him for mainly is this. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Because when he came in, even as like to to fight, we didn't Adam know. Sala, it was like, yeah. it was like this young kid who who box right, an actual, got an amateur background because yeah, yeah, Adam exactly. has a skilled guy. He can't just be fighting every, anybody. Right. No, right? I, I agree. So, yeah. Do you bring in Adam back? Do they have the rematch? Yeah. I don't know. If yeah. You, like, I would. That could be an easy kind of right into. I don't know if Adam would be interested in that. Adam might be like, Yo, I'm. Dean the Great, he's my, you know, I, I want him next, whatever. Right. Just because Adam's a massive name too. But I think him and Adam would be, I think, something interesting to watch. Uh, Uncle Pizza's there. like the, Uncle Pizza, Yeti Gang, there's guys there. There's guys there, but they're dangerous too, man. That's what I'm saying, but you have to. If you're a shark, you got to swim with the sharks, bro. We can't put you with the fish. Bars. You know what I'm saying? Bars. It ain't we'll eat fish. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, 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 bro, I didn't even, I didn't even put this guy in the same with shark. Bars. That's if you're crazy. a shark, you swim with sharks, Hold son. That, bro. Come on. That's the craziest bar I ever did. My Man's life, bar was so it. crazy, it went over his own head. That's how crazy it was. <laughs> that was a bar right there, too. That was crazy. Crazy. But yes, yeah, dude. Clip that one. Clip that. No, no, no. I looked at you. You were like, I was like, yeah, I was like, bro, that's crazy. Uh, no, so thanks. yeah, dude. Waleed, he's got some it's options. Not Waleed fish. <laughs> he ain't Waleed fish, son. I'm still getting it now. Damn, <laughs> old. Shoot, bro. 
I got accident bars, bro. That was accident, crazy. On accident bars. Handicap. Oh, okay, money. Handicap bars, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> on accident. <laughs> anyway, dude. Waleed, he has some options here, dude. He has some options. Uh, they they haven't done anything with Uncle Pizza since his debut. What has gone on with him? You mm. got to get that division moving a little bit to keep the champ busy because let's go to the champ. What do you do with Dean next? I don't know, man. This is it's it's tough. You got you got to start bringing in some boogeyman. You got to figure out somebody scary. Like, well, bro, you got guys calling Dean at least saying his name, which I think is crazy, but. He says he wants Ryan Garcia or Tank next. Ryan Garcia's oh, okay. responding to him. Talking about how are you going to talk shit about a country then proceed to say you can beat me, Dean the Dumbass. That's dope. You know, He's getting get that, that you know what I'm forward. saying? He's getting that back and forth with Ryan. Now, I but think... That's, but that's obviously... that's the way to, We, we should, you know, a couple more fights, get to that, like, build to it. If that's what he wants to do, one, because Ryan does have a fight in December, and two, also Ryan yeah, is... nobody's fighting anybody active, bro. Yeah, yeah well, like, bro. Ryan is, you know, world-class right now, and I'm not saying Dean won't be that. I'm if, saying active world-class. No yeah, that's what I'm saying. That. He's world-class. So what I think would be the option, and since they tell me if you agree, they are planning a Brazil card in February. And Jose Aldo. Jose Aldo happens to be right around that same say, weight. You give me some scaries, some names. MMA, there's, a, there's a bunch of people in the lower weight class who has not been in the mix, and you got I'm a bunch saying. of guys that will be willing to fight. Give me Jose Aldo, Dean the Great. I don't know how Brazilian fan bases work, but it's my feeling if you're going to put on a fight card in Brazil, Jose Aldo better headline that bitch. If it's not Anderson Silva you know, or Charles Oliveira, and it's not going to be, Either Winderson or Jose headline it, and you put Dean in that Jose spot. He might headline a card in Brazil, uh, dude. All right, so Faye Sensei's internet died in the middle of our call on Discord, because this is where we do these things. But comment section, now you have to help me out. You're now the co-host of The Breakdown. I want you to let me know what we do with Dean the Great next. Is he now prepared to go in and fight Jose Aldo, main event in Brazil, or... Is it something else you guys want to see? And, and what do we do next with Waleed Sharks? Is he like Face Sensei said before his internet turned into a microwave and detonated? I don't know. Do we go in there with Waleed and let him swim with the sharks, as the last name says? Or do we have him do something else outside of Misfits, get his confidence, come back? Don't have those answers, but we know one thing and one thing only. The champ is here. And his name is Dean the Great. So whatever happens next, guess we'll find out. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the